first weekend of the Cannes Film Festival wasn't one to forget. Not only did the fourth Pirates of the Caribbean movie premiere, but there was also some controversy. It was all down to British director Keith Allen, father of pop star Lily Allen, who unveiled his documentary Unlawful Killing, a film about the death of Princess Diana. I wanted to show how the inquest, in my opinion, was flawed and how a lie circled the world. And the lie is that it was an accidental death. That's not the verdict. Alan was openly criticised during the film's press conference, particularly by the British press. I was really, really disappointed in the film. And the reason I was disappointed, it is simply regurgitation of everything that Mohammed Fayed has been saying since the year 2000. How much of this film was not funded by Mohammed Fayed? Because I thought it all was. So Thank that's you. my question. How Thank much you. was not funded by Mohammed Fayed? Uh, none of it. So it was all funded by him? Genius. I can defend the film, I believe in the film, so I didn't have a problem, you know. The bottom line is I, I can defend it. Thankfully, there was no controversy at all when Pirates of the Caribbean on Stranger Tides hit the festival. Naturally, Johnny Depp was in Cannes to talk about the movie, and arguably his most successful role ever, Captain Jack Sparrow. It's a great honor to, to present a film such as this, you know, in such a, an incredible arena, I mean, to, to so many people and, and to have that, that, yeah, that many, you know, people see the film all at once, it's, uh, it's, a, it's a real honor. I mean, Cannes is, uh, you know, it's the, uh, it's the pinnacle, you know, so, yeah, I mean, we're all very, very honored to be here. It wasn't just Johnny flying the pirate flag, though, because a number of co-stars accompanied him to the French Riviera, including the gorgeous Penelope Cruz, who was thrilled to be involved. I was just happy because I said yes before I read it. And then I read it and I said, wow, this is really a great character. He's so much fun. That was one of the things early on when we first started talking about doing uh, Pirates 4, um, was the idea of, you know, breaking the formula, just uh, going as far away from that, uh, uh, anything we've used before, um, and if anything, make it closer to the feeling of, of, of one, where there were less sub-stories, there were less characters, there were less subplots, you know, in, 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 in Pirates 4. So, um, yeah, it gave us an opportunity to really explore more humor, more absurdity, more irreverence. You know. But the big question is, will there be another sequel? You know, if the people are get tired of it or something, then that's when it stops, I think. Later in the day, Pirates of the Caribbean 4 enjoyed its world premiere on the star-studded red carpet. for the next report when Brad Pitt gets his moment in the spotlight with the fantasy drama The Tree of Life. Everything